Hi guys, welcome back to another market breakdown video. And then if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell and share the video with your loved ones. And then guys, on today's video, we're looking at BTC USD. And then guys, what I'll tell you is that I'm dropping videos like this so that most of you can understand how I trade. And then I know some of you have been uh, trading very well. I know some of you have been uh, passing prop firms. Some of you are funded with only the lessons that I drop in my YouTube channel. So doing the simple things that I tell you to do, guys, like in the charts is very crucial. And then subscribing, clicking the notification bell is a good thing also just because it helps me to post more videos so that you can learn. Just because uh, I think a few weeks ago, I saw someone who sent me like analysis, sent me like... uh prop firm uh, details whereby he passed his prop firm very nicely he was left with about one percent on phase two he did like four percent and then he was left with one percent i think he will comment if he sees like this video it's because i post a lot of videos whereby uh some of you cannot keep up and then uh let's get to today's video so that you can just understand where btc usd is going even though you, you are not trading btc usd but you can understand like the the way that I analyze and the way that I see the markets each and every time. And then I'll share like uh, more videos whereby I'll do like another video where I show you how to draw like market structure. I show you how to place uh, entries, how, and how, how, how we do like our entries using the strategy. And then another thing that I'll do is that I'll make a video on that mass psychology activation thing that I promised you guys. So let's get to today's video without talking too much. So we are looking at BTC USD on the daily chat. And then first things first, you look left and make, and then make sure that you are trading like with the trend. Then as you can see here, we have the push down, corrective move, push down, corrective move, push down, corrective move, push down. So this could be the larger corrective move to clearly push to the downside just because we have <clears throat> some areas whereby the market needs to reach like this point here, like this point here, and the lowest point of which is this one around that area. So focusing on this current market structure, we have this double top area whereby we had this nice candlestick formation whereby on the lower time frame, we will get like some entries from this point here. And then moving to the four hour chart, that is where we check for momentum. And then as you can see here, we made a retracement candle around this area here. And then after that, we push to the downside with some convincing momentum so it means that we can look for those selling opportunities just because momentum is it is with us and then we have the direction for the market to reach like this low point here or the lowest low of which is in that area so what i'll do is that i'll draw like the structures that i see on the four hour and then moving lower to a uh, our time frame and the 15 minute time frame that is where we, we will look for those entries. So we have this ascending channel, just like this. And then I'll make sure that I'm catering for the touches. And then as you can see, the price action is not nice on BTC USD. I don't know why some of you <clears throat> trade this uh, instrument or crypto. So we have this ascending channel. And then we have this area here. And then we have another descending channel around here just before the market pushed to the upside we have we had this descending channel and then with this double bottom around here with this failed double bottom and then we had like a one two that's why the market pushed to the upside so initially at the top of the structure what we have is a failed third touch around this area here just because for a complete pattern, we must have like three touches. So at this area here, we should have had like a third touch for us to get like those nice selling opportunities from there. So that did not happen. We, have, we had like a, an override at the top of the structure. As you can see here, we had this area here as our double top. And then moving to a two hour time frame, 
on the two hour time frame, it's still the same thing. We had like an impulsive push to the upside, retracement candle, and then we pushed to the downside impulsively. So on the hour chart, so on the hour, we have some type of an ascending channel, just like this. We have this ascending channel. And then what I'll do is that I'll just cater for it with a 90% rule, just because most of the time we get that we get those selling opportunities. And then when it gets to this point, that is where the market will just trace back and then create some type of a messy price action or a larger pattern before pushing to the downside. So that is what I do most of the time. So I'll just remove that. And then now we look for those entries. So let's see if we can get like some type of an angle around here. So it seems like we have some type of an expanding and then I'll define it on the 15 minute and then lower to the five minute. So we have this type of price action. And then let's try and do this. So this is the price action that we have now for entries. And then we have this push to the downside, corrective move, and then we expect some more selling opportunities. So what I'll do is that I'll put another ray line at the top of the structure. Reason being, we may have like a mass psychology activation around this point whereby we supersede this high here, and then we come back to push to the downside in this type of fashion. We push to the downside and then we create some type of a tight flag around here of which is six to eight hours, and then we sell off from there. Then we have the tight flag in this area here. And then you place your sell stop just below. The stop loss is just above this point. If we have like some type of a high created with that mass psychology activation, we can just put like a stop loss just like that. And then you take profit as around here for two point, oh, let me just see. Let me just check. Let me just do this. Yeah, for 2.4, for 2.14, and then for the overall 90%, that's about 5%. And then we know that we have to swing like this trade up until maybe this point for about 8%. And then you can just refine it like on the M15 if you want to refine. So I'll just remove a few of these drawings and then on the five minute, that is where we refine our entries. And then let me just check. So on the M5, we just have this Macy price action around here. And then another thing that you may see is that we are not in that golden zone. So there's no need for us to take like risk entries around here. We look for those low risk entries and then we have two bottoms and I think we may have like two tops around here. So what I'll do is that you can just put like some type of a ray line just like that. And then if the market gives you like some type of a nice candlestick formation, that is when you can place yourself the stop loss just above here. And then you look for those targets, the same as the ones that you were looking for on the higher time frame so as you can see on the 90 percent previously we had like some type of five percent uh, take profit so now with the refinement you have eight percent on that 90 percent so that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another one